All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be introducing you to my new corn snake. Now, he's still a baby, and I don't really have a name for him just yet. I'm still thinking of it. It's a scaleless Okiti male. So after we check him out, we're also gonna be moving him into a new tub because this tub is not the best. All right, so I think he's in this hide right here. And yeah, there he is. When I bought him originally, I thought he was gonna be red because of the picture, but he looks like a nice orange, dark, dark orange, nice dark browns. Um, just a really interesting snake, um, especially being that he is scaleless. So I'm wondering. Now my plans for him is kind of for like really in the future. It has to do with Tesla right here because she is a female head for scaleless and he is a scaleless male. So eventually we may have some scaleless babies here. But that is for further down the road in the future. For right now, we're just raising them up because they are still babies. So now that you've seen uh, my new corn snake, I still don't have a name. If you guys want, suggest some names for him down in the comment. Maybe something that has to do with his color, maybe something like orange or something. I don't know. But right now, I'm going to show you how I set up my baby bins because this one is just temporary. I'm not keeping him in there anymore. So let's go do All that right. right. So this is how I create my baby bins. Now you can also do this for adults. Just get a bigger bin and follow the same steps. So what I use is just this tool right here. You've probably seen it before in my videos. It is just like a, a wood burner or a wood chisel, but you put the uh, circular attachment on and I'm just gonna screw it in even though it's hot. Um, you put the, just the, the poker attachment on, I don't know what it's called, just to poke holes in there. This tool right here that I put on is the perfect size for babies because they cannot escape from the holes. It's too tiny. It's unwashed, so after you do this step is when you're going to wash it because you don't really have to wash it two times. Just wash it right before you're going to put the snake in it. All right, so first I'm just going to start with the top. There's no real way to do this. Just make a couple ventilation holes. All right, and it's pretty much that simple. So I just did uh, around like eight holes on top and then I'm gonna go around the side and do the rest of the holes. So you don't really have to watch me do that, but I'll come back when that's All done. All right, so I finished putting the ventilation holes and I also rinsed it out, uh, but this is, what it's look this is what it looks like. I just put a couple holes on the top, a couple holes in the front and then holes down the side. So he's only been in this uh, temporary enclosure for around two days. Now the bedding was brand new when I put it in. So we're just gonna transfer the bedding so we don't waste any. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this next part up, but I'm just gonna be transferring half of the bedding. All right, and now that it's like semi set up, I'm just gonna take him out. So he's just peeking out because he is pretty uh, nervous of why half of his enclosure has been ruined, but it's because we got a little bit bigger one right here. All right, that's pretty much it. I got everything transferred. He's just in the back there uh, chilling because he did eat yesterday. So he's on the heat spot, which I am happy about that. So now this one, I'm not gonna really throw it out just in case I ever need it in the future, but it is a pretty shitty tub. So this is like a last resort. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is his enclosure for now. Um, he has like a nice little skull back there. He has uh, a little DIY hide that I made. He has a uh, toilet paper tube, his water dish, that's pretty much it, and this big plant right here. But he's chilling, he's just checking it out, going inside. So the last thing to do is just cover him up right here so he doesn't get out. Let me show you why this kind of sucks, it's because so much of the area is taken up by these walls, they come out so much. So if you look, there's like a lot of area that's just taken up because of the design, it was just really bad. And also the lid, because if you didn't know if you're using bins, you have to have positive locking lids. You have to have the ones that clamp down. But this lid is so... This whole thing is just so shitty that once you close it, half the lid is still open. So like you guys can see, you can't really... It's not really open open, but it does not close fully. 
If you close it on that side, then this side will pop open. If you close it on that side, then the other side pops open. So it's just the back and forth and it's really shitty. So that's why I switched to this one and now we're gonna have no problems. And he has a, even a, he has more space in there really. So that's pretty much it. Now let me show you a quick update on Cruz. He, he's doing really well. He has a big water bowl now because um, he drinks a lot of water and he can soak in this one. So that's pretty much that. Um, and soon I'm gonna be upgrading Cruz into a Exoterra 32 by th the biggest one. Uh, 32 by 18 by 18 so he's gonna enjoy that a lot of extra space he's not he hasn't really outgrown this tank yet but i feel like he just needs some more uh enrichment <laughs> there he is so i just feel like he needs some more enrichment um in his life and maybe a little bit bigger enclosure so he can just like i don't know skirt around more and uh, feel like he's actually going places but this is pretty much it for now he has his nice little warm hide down there. That's why he's also chilling in the warm hide because he ate yesterday. He's probably wondering if there's more food because usually I don't bother him the day after feeding. But there's no food for you. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like my new scaleless corn snake. I really do. And so if you have any questions, comment them down below. I'll always answer. And uh, yeah, take care. Thanks for watching.